the movie Cinderella, the people that were around Cinderella did everything in their power to try to block, stop, and control her life. They wanted to play God in her life, and in the end, they failed. All that energy her stepmother and her sisters put into trying to break Cinderella's spirit, blocking her from her happiness, never worked in their favor. And if you remember in that movie, at the end, they ended up receiving nothing. They basically were banished from the kingdom. Now, I'm using that movie as an example because I know a lot of people like to try and play God in other people's lives. They like to try to control the narrative of how they think things should go. We have people that are stressed out. They can't sleep. They have to control how someone else's life is going to go, who they should date, who they should be friends with. You know, they end up literally stressing themselves out. They age their own self trying to play God in someone else's life. You know, it's so freeing to know that it's not our job to try to just convince others how they need to change, how they need to live, what they need to do. That's God's job. In John 16, 8, Jesus said that it is the Holy Spirit who convicts and convinces people of the truth. That means that you and I don't have to try to play God in other people's lives. The Bible calls us to a life of simplicity, and yet so often we feel that we have to figure everything out and know the ins and outs of every situation and know the reason for everything that happens in life. My proud people, they are often complicated and unhappy people trying to convince others that they are right and others are wrong. We are called to be imitators of Christ. He wasn't out to prove anything. He wasn't concerned about what people thought about him. He already knew who he was, so he didn't feel the need to defend himself. He responded in a peaceful and loving way. We are, as his children, supposed to be walking in that same energy. And in order to do this, we need to get closer to God, who is our teacher. In Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, strip yourselves of your former nature, which characterized your previous manner of life and becomes corrupt through lust and desires that spring from delusion. Be constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new nature created in God's image in true righteousness and holiness. Our nature is seen through our conversation, which means that the kind of person we are is revealed by what we say. Our nature comes out of our mouth. And Proverbs 15.1, it says a soft answer always turns away wrath. Our words can bring peace to troubled waters. So stop trying to play God in other people's lives. It's not your job. Thank you for listening.